My name is Hector Lopez, I'm an artist and an illustrator, but most people know me as the caricature artist for the Oklahoma City Thunder. I started getting into art because I was always the awkward kid who was quiet and I was, you know, the kid in the back of the classroom doodling and I got so good at it to the point where I'm now making a living off of it. When people ask me if, the, if caricatures is my profession, I'm like, it's more of my anti-profession because I, <laughs> I arrived to it being unprofessional and doodling all the time. So then, yeah. I like the way things look. You know, there's something about things that are practical that make me want to draw it. There's hardly any symbolism or any story behind my art. It just is what it is. It's either a, a cool looking robot or a cool looking pose. Everything has their own little uh, special way of working. And if I can draw that and show it to people and see how important it is, I would be happy, you know, because it's just about the simple thing. The way that I work at the Thunder Games is that I show up an hour and a half before tip-off. How's it going, man? And I start drawing Ready for your the fans, right. and sometimes I have regulars. They come on over, and it's kind of a tradition like where they just like, kind of yeah, start I'll getting caricature off of me. Want, I'm not a portrait artist. I don't take half an hour to draw you. I take only two, three minutes to draw you. And it's good to know that it's good enough to be put on the wall or refrigerator or whatever it is where they want to have it displayed. So that's how it is, and it's free. <laughs> there you go, dude. That is amazing. <laughs> He's got my big cheesy grin. It feels very satisfying to know when I look at my easel and I see a finished caricature and then I glance up to my subject and I see that both of them resemble each other. Of course, it gives me a huge high. It just gives me a huge satisfaction to know that here I am capturing them, not through a camera, but through the way that I looked at them and then translated it through my hand and I just kind of flip it over and show it to them and then this. they get a huge laugh out of it and that makes me happy. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. There you go, man. Each individual person has their own individual personality or shapes in their face. You know, like maybe they have a bigger nose or bigger eyes or smaller eyes or whatever it is. I really need to capture that. I try to approach my drawings as if I'm drawing them in a Disney way, like if they were Disney characters. Sure. So I've developed my style right to yeah, be yeah. a certain style that is both quick and also gives the, the subject something to be happy about. I've had it done twice by a young man behind us. What do you think of it? Pretty good. Perfect with my wife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. Cool. I love it. Took a, took a lot of years off of me, and I listened. <laughs> I came and hunted him down, actually, so that I could get another one. Yeah. I think I think it's pretty awesome. He kind of exaggerated a lot of features. I think it's awesome, and it was free. It's like coming out to a Thunder game makes it much more enjoyable, you know? I really like this one a lot, so I'll put it on the fridge next to my other one. <laughs> this is our first time, and he did an amazing job. He did good. He did, he did good. good. It looks like this. It does look like this. <laughs> I tell people whenever they ask me about my characters, I tell them, to me, caricature is like the fast food of art. People sit in front of you for just a few minutes, you give them something to take home, you don't keep it, you don't have any emotional attachment to it. I'm supposed to draw the essence of you more than anything, you know, just the way that um, you would look like in a cartoon. There you guys go. There's something cool about drawing like everyday people, you know. People who don't necessarily dress up or they have their, their, their hair all messed up or whatever. I enjoy that, you know, like just the way that you look when you wake up, if I drew you like that, you know, that would be awesome. I feel very legit now. I feel like it's, I'm part of the Thunder experience and that gives me a lot of satisfaction. When I'm not drawing, I end up at the skate park, and skating resembles art in a way, you know, especially my kind of art where you have no direction. If 
you can't land the trick and you're getting frustrated with a certain trick, you can move on to the next, something that you know how to land, and maybe that can give you some confidence to land new tricks that you've never landed. Same thing with drawing, you know, like, I draw skulls or I draw things that I know how to draw right off the bat to kind of get me warmed up. It just gives me confidence to go further. If you leave somebody skateboarding or drawing by themselves for many hours, they can come up with something great. I'm a better artist than I am a skateboarder, but still skateboarding gives me that freedom of just exercising and enjoying tricks and they give me satisfaction. You know, I, that's what I like. I like creating things that give me satisfaction and I'm fortunate enough that there's an audience for it. Okay, bring them over so we can draw them. My three loves are, you know, drawing, skateboarding, and obviously my son. If I didn't have any of those things in my life right now, I would go insane. Those three things keep me alive. See, then it has two little lines like that. And the arm. And the ball joint right there. Victor, my son, is five years old, and he loves Transformers. And it's just cool how he bridges the generation with something, which is Transformers for us. And anything that resembles a robot, like a Transformer, you know? Wow, that looks cool. The way that I'm teaching him how to draw is by simplifying the Transformers, because Transformers are very complicated robots. So then what I do, I break it down into simpler shapes on one side of a paper, and then he uses the other half to draw, to copy my version. All right, go ahead and color these pieces. We'll see the neck is purple. My, my goal right now for him is to have a good time and be productive at the same time, be, be creative, you need to cultivate his uh, creativity. And what better way than to do it with something that we both enjoy. Even if he doesn't get into art, it's okay. You know, he can do whatever he wants. I want to give him the chance to enjoy what I enjoyed. And I think it's a, it's, a, it's a fun way for him to develop drawing skills. So is that it? Awesome. Give me five. That's cool, huh? It's cool to know that I have a little buddy that's into the same things that I am. He just happens to be my son. <laughs> Of course, there's a lot more to me than just caricatures. I like personally to draw things that you would see at the movies, especially with the special effects movies. You know, if you have dinosaurs, robots, spaceships, it doesn't matter to me. I get inspired off of that. I rarely draw things that are still. There's something about action that I love, and that goes hand in hand with my skateboarding. I just love how things are while they're in movement. I would say almost every day I have to dedicate at least two hours for art. It, it's, it's rare for me to spend over a day on a piece. And if I do, it has to be something very meaningful to me. I think my art requires a lot of input. It requires fresh faces, it requires fresh environments. I really need input. It doesn't matter what it is. New places or people, I just need constantly a stream of new information through my eyes. And that's what makes me want to draw. Just gotta look over here just a little bit so I can draw your face, okay? There you go. A caricature artist is very unique amongst all the other artists because we actually have real people in front of us. And they're not necessarily expecting a full-blown masterpiece. It's just a resemblance of them. But still, they got to hang out for maybe two, three minutes with the artist. I'm very happy with the place where I'm at right now. I got one foot in into the art industry, and here I am drawing all kinds of other things. What caricatures gives me is buying time to give me time to draw whatever I want. And I think that's cool, you know? Caricatures isn't necessarily fine art, but it's art at the end of the day.